what's going on everybody it's Levy coming at you again with another video for Georgia Boy Adventures you know I was out here doing a little yard work today enjoying the springtime weather with all the new flowers blooming and the birds singing and all the honeybees that were hard at work but then it dawned on me that I hadn't even took any time this year to put out any swarm traps every year I like to put out a few traps to try to catch some swarms to make me some new hives out of so today I went over to the shed and grabbed a couple of boxes that I have used in the past that has caught swarms in the past. I always have people ask me, they say, you know, what kind of box do you use and where do you put it and what do you put on it or in it to make the swarms come to it. So today I figured I would shoot a little video pertaining to that subject. So if you've got interest in that subject, you might want to tag along with me. Uh, once again, this is just a way that I do it. There's lots of ways that you can catch a swarm of bees, lots of boxes, different boxes, traps, stuff to put in it. So this is just something that I do that has worked for me in the past. So if you have an interest in that and you want to tag along with me, please do. And as always, like and subscribe, and most importantly, thanks for watching. Watch Joe See a mountain top, go deep in a swamp. If you're searching for a thrill, you got a little time to keep your watch. George Boy Adventures. Watch George Boy Adventures. guys let's talk a little bit more about different kinds of swarm traps as I said earlier you know there's all kinds of traps that people makes different sizes plywood boxes buckets a uh, real popular one is a store-bought one that you can buy or order uh, that's like a half of a bucket that's made like a car some kind of cardboard material with you know with a hole in it and literally you can just take it up to the tree and put it on the side of the tree and uh, put the right stuff on it as far as uh, swarm bait goes and you can catch a swarm of bees heck you could even take it and put it up on the tree and, and you know not put anything in it and the, the bees could come and, and get in it if they like you know what they see but for me personally the bad thing that I see about the store bought ones and just taking a container of some sort whether it be a box or the store bought one and just putting it on a tree is that when you go back to if you are lucky enough to catch a swarm of bees, when you go back to get the bees and bring them back to put them in a hive, if you haven't put no any kind of foundations or any kind of uh, anything in there to tell the, the bee where to, you want him to build the honeycomb at, then they go in there and they build it where they want to. So you basically have to bring that container back and cut the bees and the honeycomb out of that, put it in your hive, and hope everything works right. To me, that's a lot harder work and it stresses the bees out a lot more. So what I like to do is I build my boxes so they fit standard frames where you can just put standard frames in them and put them in there. And then when the bees go in and make start building their honeycomb, it's already on a foundation and already on a frame. So all you have to do is pull the frame out and put it in your beehive and then you don't have to do all that cutting and all. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of stress that point that, you know, there's all kind of ways to catch them. Bees, you know, it's not about what we like, it's about what the bee likes anyway, you know, and I've seen them everything where, you know, I'll put boxes places and I'll think it's the most beautiful place and, you know, won't catch anything and then, you know, they'll go over there and you'll find, they'll swarm and you'll find them in a eve of the house or over there in the shed or something you know what i mean so bees you know it's more about what the bee likes than what me or you like you know what looks good to us you know so you know this is just something that i use and i build them square like this and put frames in them for that particular reason so i figured that might be a good little note for y'all to uh to remember when you're going to put out some swarm traps I mean, you can buy one of the cardboard swarm trap that I'm talking about with a hole with nothing in it for $20, probably $15, $20. And they work, and that's what I'm saying. Bees, it's just, it's, it's potluck, it really is. You know, I started, I started with smaller ones, building smaller boxes. You know, you, you talk to one beekeeper, 
he'll say, you know, he has a certain size box that he likes. Another beekeeper, he has a different size box that he likes. What I did, I just started with my own size, worked my way up, figured out kind of what worked. But I mean, I think somewhere they, somebody said they did research on honeybees and about what size enclosure that a honeybee really likes. And you know, it, it's, a, it's about the size of a 10 frame beehive. You know, that's about what size they like to start with. And uh, so, you know, I figured that that works good. If you can keep in somewhere in that size range and that's what most of that stuff is. But anyway, I just figured that was a cool note that y'all might want to take note of when you're out ordering them, especially when you're putting, buying them cheaper ones and putting them up. And then, you know, everything's great. You catch your, you catch your swarm, but then you go to bring them out, take them out, put them in a beehive. It's a pain sometimes, and sometimes it stresses the bees out, and it's hard to do. And sometimes you might kill the queen doing that, trying to get all of that out and get it in your beehive. So, you know, I've come to figure out, you know, Get a box, put some frames in it, that way when the bees go in there and they start building, all you have to do is take them out, literally take those frames out, put them in a new beehive and you're good to go. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get these here cleaned up and get them ready and then we will take them on back here to the back and uh, I'll show you where we're going to put one. Alright guys, I figure I'd give you a little bit closer look at one of these boxes here. You know the box itself is uh, roughly about nine inches deep by, by about 29 by 20 um, and as you can see get it up here all it is is a standard five frame these are just standard five frame old uh, some old B frames that I got old used ones and they're dirty but the, bees don't care they'll clean it up but basically it's just a square box you know that's about nine inches deep and then 20 inches across there on the front and the back and it's about 20 inches tall and it's the same as this box this box over here is just really just a standard nook box that most beekeepers use when they're starting the hive. Instead of it having 10 frames in it, it has, it fits five frames, which is, you know, half of a regular beehive. So, the, being how I already have these boxes for starting my hives and, and, uh, and all that, these boxes work perfect for like I talked about already having a box instead of just putting a box up there that's an empty box for the bees to go into to build the comb wherever they want to build it and then you got to go back in here when it's all said and done and cut all that out and put it in your beehive I use these nook boxes like this and put five frames in it and fill it up got a couple more frames somewhere but you get the point fill it up with five frames bait it with the swarm bait and then put it somewhere and uh, like I said it has caught uh, numerous swarms I mean basically all it is is a box it's a box with a lid with a hole on the front for the bees to go in they go in there and start building and the joy of using a nook box like this even like this box over here which is the same thing, which is five frames across the top, other than it's deeper than a standard nook box. And when I was experimenting, you know, I read some things and did some things that said if you give them a little more room in there, under the bottom like that, that, uh, you know, it might catch more swarms. <clears throat> you know, my experience with the two is, yeah, you know, I'm not so sure if it's the box depth or not. I've probably caught evenly you know, evenly with this box, which is deeper than this box. You know, this box here has a hanging handle on it. So basically I use these deeper boxes. I had built some and I got a few more. I use these deeper boxes and I hang those on the trees or hang them up high. That's another thing that people will talk about is, you know, where to hang it, you know, what height to put the, the swarm box off of the, off of the ground. You know, me, I like to experiment. I take these boxes here and make them that's got the little hole in it or 
place to hang it and you know and I like to hang you know I have found that most of my swarm bees have been caught anywhere from about 8 foot to about 12 foot is what they really really like when I'm hanging one in a tree but then there's people that will just take and I have too will take that nook box right there and just you know go out there and sit it sit it on a table or sit it you know up on something that's you know four or five foot off the ground and you know bees will come to it you know I've seen them sitting on the ground with the bees in it so here again that's what I'm talking about placement is play is placement important yeah probably so anyway I you know I think this time I'm gonna put some out of each and we're gonna look at that a little bit closer but as far as you know the size of the box whether it be this one a little bit deeper than, I mean shallower than this one I don't know that it makes all that much difference I think the placement of it whether it probably makes a little bit more difference so anyway keep in mind like I talked about you can go out there and you can just build a square box like this or like that or whatever without any frames in it drill a hole in the front of it put a lid on it blah 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 put it in a tree put it in the right spot and who knows you could catch a swarm of bees without anything in it but this technique here like I said You've already got this, I've already had these nook boxes, so I just put five frames in it, then I bait it just like a regular swarm trap, and then when I catch bees in here, all I have to do is go and get them and bring them back, and they already in a nook box, which is what you would bring them back and put them in anyway, and they're already started, so literally all I have to do is go get them and bring them in here, not even bother them. They can go, and then when they get this box full, then I can move them over to a regular beehive by simply taking them out of here and putting them in a regular beehive, moving this over and putting it right in yours. So, you know, if those weren't in there and it was just an open box, you would have to go in here and it would just be a glob of honeycomb and bees and you just got to cut it out and then you've got to try to get it in your box and you know, it's just a lot harder. Does it work? Yes. Can it be done? Yes. But anyway, there, there it is. Like I said, we got some old frames that we were using. They look bad, but the bees will clean them up. So what I'm going to do is uh, get these ready, and we'll get them back there, and I'll get them back by the first tree. I think we're going to take this one in here and hang it first. And like I said, we'll just put some, I'm going to put this one probably about 8 or 9, 10 foot off the ground, and then we're going to take that one and put it, uh, you know, 4 or 5 foot off the ground and just see if that really makes any difference this time. But anyway, just a quick note. We'll be right back with you when we get back down there where we're going to put it. Okay, guys, we, we got our box all loaded up. We got it down here close to the tree where we're going to put it up. And basically, so you've got yourself a box, whichever one you're going to use. Then the next thing you got to get you, if you really want to up your odds. Now, uh, lots of people use lots of different things too when it comes to this. But the swarm lure that I use is, is uh, Swarm Commander. And I just got this off of Amazon. And really it's just lemongrass oil which a lot of people uses lemongrass oil but I think this has a little queen bee pheromone or something in it anyway just something you can pick up that ups your shots and I have had pretty good success with this one but whatever you choose to use whether it be a lure like this that you buy or some lemongrass oil or whatever you prefer find it works good is uh, all I do in the directions of this particular one is just to on the bottom of your lid spray it about two or three times right on the bottom of the lid and we're going to put our lid on we'll put the lid on and screw it down like that and then it says recommended to come around wherever your entrance is at and like on this particular box all it is is a round hole drill I think that's like a three quarter hole drilled in it and spray some around the inside right on the front of the box like that and like I said most people have different techniques with this too some people will take and put a little bit of lure whatever they choose on a q-tip and Put it down in the bottom of the container there and let it stay in a plastic bag so it lets off a little scent you know all that works and you just have to research and figure out what you like i found that this right here and this with this technique with this this spray here seems to work pretty good just spray it right on the top spray it right on there i give it a couple of days if nothing happens i'll come out in a couple of days or so and give another couple of little squirts and i just keep doing that till something happens 
so anyway we got our we're gonna get our trap we got our trap ready there and then as far as the tree goes that we picked out it's just a tree we've used before just right here on the edge of the wood lines which i find bees like you can see right there i got a board that's already up there that i instead of hanging it i just take it up there and run a couple of screws in that board up there and just let it hang so like i said right here we've caught a couple of swarms in the past so that's the one that i'm gonna hang up you know, that's probably be 10 foot or so when I reach up there. Maybe 9 foot or so. But anyway, I'll get it up there and we will uh, we'll take another look at it. Alright guys, well I just got done going up this ladder, which I don't recommend. <laughs> this is the only disadvantage to hanging boxes up high you know you got the total ladder and all that stuff take the chance of falling off of it but anyway there it is up there hanging baited ready to go basically I already had a board up there from last year I just took that up there and ran a couple of screws in the top board and then I did come over under the bottom and add just one more little board to kind of hold it level and that's another thing that I will say is I try to keep all my swarm boxes or whatever I put up, I try to keep them level as little as, as I can both ways, you know, horizontal and vertical. You know, try to keep it level because if it's not level, bees will build, you know, the honeycomb crooked and it'll cause you all kind of problems. So the leveler it is, the better. So that was baited ready to go. So we're gonna leave that one. And that was just a waiting game. I'll come out here tomorrow and the next day and check it but it usually does not take long once I put that swarm bait on it and usually by the time I get a couple more swarm traps out I can come back by and usually see one or two bees already checking it out but anyway we're gonna grab this other one and go over here and sit it on a little thing that I got over here that's not as high as this we're gonna see which one does better okay guys we got the other nook box here and once again, all we're doing is using a standard nook box. Got my five frames in there. The directions for the swarm lure that I have says just spray it on the top. And I know that that works good because I've done it before. So I'm going to spray a couple of on the top. I'm going to come around here and give a couple of sprays on the entrance and we're gonna put the lid back on it and as far as this one goes we've moved a little bit further down into swamp area under some pine trees it's right off the edge of a little garden area but just a little lean to about five foot tall, just a little lean to up the side of a tree, just a little flat place I can set this box. Uh, certainly not as high as the other one, so we'll just see if they like it better over here. So I'm going to set that right on top of there and I'll be right back. Alright guys, there it is. Like I said, just a standard nook box. Baited up with some swarm lure. Five frames in there. This one here probably sitting about five foot off the ground. So we're gonna see which one produces better. So now it's just a waiting game. I'll come back uh, tomorrow and check and see if see what's going on. And like I said, in a couple of days or so, if we don't see much action on this one, we'll give them another little spray. And then if something don't happen, then we'll consider maybe moving it. But just when you least expect it not to happen, you come out here and they'll be in it, you know. Alright, we're going to go head back up here and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. Well, there you go. We went down there and put, put two swarm boxes out. I got a couple more we'll dig out and probably put those out too in the next video. So it's pretty much just a waiting game now. We'll give them a couple of days and go back there and see what's uh what's going on usually you'll see a couple of them start checking it out in a day or two and then a few more and a few more until you go back there one day and they'll be all swarmed up on it 
But that's a good thing. That's what we're looking for. So anyway, I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I hope you learned a little something about catching honeybees, maybe. So I will uh, post another video in the next couple of days if we see, as soon as we see some good activity on either one of them swarm boxes, we'll post a follow-up video to it and let y'all know how it's going. But anyway, appreciate y'all uh, taking the time to go with me. Please like and uh, subscribe. And thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.